Hi everyone, this is Cindy Crane the Heart, and I'm back with a card share. So this is going to be one of, I think, two videos that are specifically using the Very Cherry <clears throat> kit that I got from Tailored Expressions. I also got a new stamp set and punch from Stampin' Up!, which I'm going to be showing you. And I might do a third video on Very Cherry. I just will have to see how much time I have because I would like to see if I can make these cherries into some other, you know, some other fruit. Um, I may not have time, but I'm definitely doing, I've already done it. I've created two different videos for this kit. So I have purchased this as a kit. However, all of these pieces are sold um, on their shop separately. <clears throat> the only thing you can't get is the seals and then this kit also came with envelopes so you could buy all of these separately so the berry cherry stamp set and cling so if you just wanted to get started with this you probably could with just this and the dies you know if you wanted to you could make a lot of a lot of things um, and there's also this clear stamp set which is called cherry on top and of course the dies which die cut these as well as die cut the individual cherries and then these little um, you know cling stamp will also stamp your cherries and your leaves as well so it all kind of mixes and matches which i really love and then the seals are super cute i thought about using them um, in a project because i believe this is the same size as the circle here but um so i might still at some point but i don't know i think i forget to that i have them because i think they would be really cute to seal up a very cherry um card so it, it did come with the seals and then the other things that it came with let me put this back in so i don't like lose these stinking seals um is this open scallop circle so it, it cuts die cuts this open scallop and then there's a separate circle die that you could cut separately or you can cut within that scallop die and create something for a shaker, which I'm going to show in my next video. And so, of course, this item can be used with any other thing you've got. I mean, it's just a die. And then, you know, if you're buying things separately, maybe you have something already, circle dies and whatnot. Maybe you have punches and you don't really need this die. So you can save yourself some money with that. And then this stencil fits, if you can kind of maneuver it to fit over <clears throat> this stamp set. Once it stamps, you can maneuver this little heart stencil over it in such a way that the hearts um, go all around the cherries and are on top of the cherries. And then you can stencil that um, or you can use some paste, which I didn't use this time. I do sometimes do that with my stencils, but I do do it this time. So these are cards that I made um, just with these products, and I love them, and I love cherries. My love of cherries goes back to my, you know, my obsession with Mary Englebright, um, but just something about, about cherries. So this is a top fold card, and this one I saw on, um, I don't know if I saw it on the website or the blog. Um, but this one is a very sort of clean and simple card. It's just the white and the pink. And then for my cherries, I use some pink stickles. So it just gives it a little bit of shine. And this is Thanks Cherry Much. And I use my Cat Scrappiness um, scallop dies for the pink. And, it, and you see a little bit of white showing. And it's just very, I just used a strip. Of pattern paper that I had in my stash so nothing fancy and then this one right here is also fairly simple it's just stamping that big stamp set um, over on the cardstock and then using that clear stamp to stamp in my cherries and my leaves in red and pink and then I, what I did was I actually stamped a whole bunch of these cherries in the two and the one, and then colored them all in, cut them all out. And so I, they were just ready to be put on cards wherever I decided to go. And then this one, I don't know if you can see, but I did some glossy accents on it. It looks really, really cool. And then it just says a note to cherry you up. And um, just a little strip of pattern paper that I had in my stash. 
So really simple. And then this one is fun. It black and red just really goes really, really well. And so, you know, I just really love how it came out. So I just basically, this is like off center too. Um, but I've got my, um, I did my full stamp of that background stamp. And then everything was done in Cherry Pop, which is a very deep red ink. Um, and then the screen, I used, um, I think a cilantro, but any of this dark green ink. Um, and then I've got my cherries propped up. And then this one has some red stickles on there. And then this one was done in uh, white embossing. This is You're So Sweet. And I just love that. So simple, but, but really cute. Then this one, uh, on the black cardstock, I stamped um, with Versamark ink, that big background stamp in Versamark ink. And then I used white embossing powder. And then I used a white ink to ink the, um, what do you call these, the white hearts all around. And so I just love that with the red and then I've got my cherries and I've got a couple cherries right here. And then I used stickles on these. And so they've got this really glossy kind of shine to them. And then the last card that I'm going to share with you guys right now is this one right here. So this one, all I did was stencil in white over the red cardstock. And then I used um, a white and I used a circle with red that die and then these cherries are all with stickles and that just says you're so sweet with the little heart that comes in the stamp set and i just really love how they came out and i am just in love with this very cherry um stamp set it is so cute anyway thank you so much for watching this is Cindy crane the heart